Hey guys, it's phase one once again with another video. Today we're gonna go over 3.18. Now that Star Citizen Alpha 3.17.2 just dropped, it's finally in the live servers. It's a huge step because the very next step is 3.18. Very soon we're gonna start to hear more about 3.18 in the PTU in regards to the Evo Cadi build. All right, so I can't wait to to, to get my hands on those so we can talk about what's coming all right um so if you'd like to see more things like this in star citizen star citizen content make sure to like and subscribe once again a huge thank you to my patreon and channel members hopefully um yeah so hopefully you guys hang out with me today we're gonna be talking about 318 in this video some of the things that i think we are we will get in this upcoming patch all right so let's do it let's do it let's do it all right um fundamentally fundamentally star citizen alpha 3.18 is going to be coming out into evil Cardi built very short all right now that 317.2 is out and there are some key features that cig did confirm we will get okay they did confirm that we will get the persistent entity streaming that's the fundamental baseline of 3.18, okay? Uh, so that means we're going to have persistence, actual persistence in the game, you know? So um, with that being the foundation of uh, Star Citizen Alpha 3.18, it's, it's, it's going to make... Um, what I'm going to talk about essentially is all going to be primarily speculation, right? Um, but there are going to be some things that they didn't confirm will be coming with 318 and there are a lot of the stuff that I'm going to be also talking about here is going to be speculation. Okay. All right. So with, um, with the fact that persistent, uh, persistent entity streaming is going to be in with 3.18. The salvage career is going to make its first entry in Star Citizen. Okay, so when we talk about the salvage career, you know, just like mining, right? When you want to mine, you have to go to a planet, an asteroid belt to look for um, resources to extract and take it into refining things of that nature, right? So when it comes to salvage, how is salvage going to work? Is salvage only going to be applicable when you damage your ship or is salvage going to be um in a sense where they're going to have points of interest that you will have to find somewhere um within the system within the system right within stanton right the same way you go to a, a an asteroid belt to look for asteroids to mine or to, you go on planet side to look for a rock to mine right my guess i'm speculating that CIG will be putting out points of interest out in the system and maybe hopefully I'm hoping that they will put um some sort of mechanic in 318 where we will be able to maybe probe the system right probe the system scan the system to see if there's any points of interest that may be interesting for somebody that is looking to salvage okay so if you want to make money, right? If you want to make money, if you want to make consistent money, you got to be able to get into the game as a salvager and find a way to make money, right? You can't just say, oh, um, wait until somebody's in the PU saying, oh, I need somebody to help me help repair or somebody to come and salvage this for me, right? You got to be able to go out and, and find it yourself, right? So in order to make it fun work, to make it a natural career, right um i hope they don't make it like um you feeling where you need to communicate with somebody through um the comms you know in order to actually refill somebody to make money you know so i'm hoping that there will be some sort of probing mechanic um at least the first iteration of it in 380 right secondly the ability to save points of interest, right? So let's say you go out and you salvage um, a crash ship somewhere, a derelict ship somewhere. You salvage it, 
you know, somewhere in the middle of space, right? You salvage it into your your vulture or your your, your vulture. Your vulture gets to maximum capacity, but the ship that you're salvaging is a big ship. It's let's say a, a freelancer, right? You can't call strip all of it, right? You got to be able to find a way to come back to the same location to salvage the remainder of the ship, right? You probably may, may, may need to do it maybe two or three trips or four, you know? So, um, I'm hoping I'm speculating that CIG will add a feature where we will be able to save points of interest, right? Actual beacons that we could set and save it on our ship. So whenever we're ready to go back, we could jump to that location again, right? So that's what I'm speculating that we may be getting something like that in 3.18. All right. Um, Service beacons for repair jobs. Also, repairing, right? So salvage comes in two folds. Hull stripping and also to repair, right? So once you strip the hull of a ship, that material that you extracted, you can also use to repair somebody's ship. So there's two sides of the salvage careers, right? So you can you could um you can go out and repair other people's ships and make some money off of that, you know. That would be really cool to also do it to NPCs. NPCs will, will launch, um, you know, service beacons. They'll be out somewhere in space. They have some damage on their ship. Similar to the service combat service beacons. You go there and then you repair that ship. Once it gets to, let's say, a, it's like a health bar. It gets to 100%, right? And then once the 100%, they pay you. You're good to go, right? Um, that would be cool as a first iteration or something like that. I would love to see something like that. Once again, all speculation. Okay. Um, another piece that they did mention, right? So this like today, right? Today and yesterday, I was going through the progress tracker and I saw some features that we're going to be completing, you know, all around Q3, right? All around Q3, which is essentially 318. Um, so one of the things that I did see was the physical damage um, and breakability, right? So it says right here, making use of physics engine to create systems that look and behave realistically when large objects such as ships or um, are damaged by weaponry or colliding with other ships, locations, and planets, right? So with 3.18, I think we will be getting the feature where our ships, you know, will break apart in a way that it makes sense in a way that, um, right now there are, the, there is physical damages on our ship, but I feel like they're going to take it to the next level in a, in a way that the game understands when you need to repair a part that you could actually repair a part, right? So I think they're, you're changing the game code so that all ship hauls and, and, and vehicles could be damaged as well as it could be repaired so i think that's going to be a fundamental feature for the salvage career okay another great interesting feature that i'm, I'm really excited about um is going to be the cargo refactor this is going to be huge okay the cargo refactor is going to be huge right so for those that don't know is they're going to be changing cargo in such a way that you could take cargo from one ship the cargo grid of one ship and take it outside, put it out somewhere or take to another ship, right? So that's going to open things up for, um, things like, um, piracy, right? Piracy, right? If you, if you have a hall sea full of Laranite, you, you better be careful where you're going, especially with piracy going on out there. All right. You know, so it's going to be, it's going to be really interesting with the cargo refactor, right? So also coming along with cargo refactor was, it's going to be low timers so what, let's say you're, you're doing some trading you go to an outpost and you want to fill up your ship with cargo you can't just get it instantaneously now you, you're gonna have to um wait for it to actually load the ship right because you know it, this is a part of the cargo refactor right and they're gonna give you the option where you could actually pay npcs in order to speed up the process all right so these are things that you're going to need to think about as a trader 
you know, and, and put that into account when you're looking to trade certain items and expecting certain types of profit, right? You gotta, you gotta add that into your calculations now, you know? Another big piece, another big piece that I'm really excited for, hopefully we do get it, is the persistent hangers. This is gonna be huge, all right? Persistent hangers is gonna be huge, you know? Um, with PES, persistent entity streaming, the fact that we have persistent hangers and the fact that if we look at all the stations right now in 3.17.2, most, most of the, they, they reverted from pads to internal spaces, right? Internal hangers, regardless, irregardless of what size ship you have, right? So now this is going to enable them to actually implement persistent hangers. So hopefully I'm guessing persistent hangers will be at uh, major locations, but I'm also hoping it will be at space stations, right? Because not everybody wants to be planet side all the time or flying through atmosphere, right? So hopefully persistent hangers will also be at space stations. And I'm assuming that you, you could pick one or you could purchase one or you can rent one and um it will be yours you can go there drop off your cargo um i'm sure there'll be an area where you could leave certain things let's say um uh let's say for example what do you call it um you, you did some exploration you found you found some um, artifacts and you want to save it somewhere you can save it in your hangar right um so things like this is all going to be coming hopefully right i'm speculating that this is what we're going to be getting for 3.18 once again right and last but not least is the ships right the drake vulture is definitely going to be in right because the salvage is reliant on that but what i speculate in 318 is that we may be looking at getting the drake corsair in 318 the reason why i say that is if you look at, if you look on the progress tracker it's going to be completing around Q3, towards the end of Q3. So I think in a later patch of 318, we may look, see the Corsair. It's also going to be perfect timing, especially when we're going into uh, a pyro build. You know, we're going to be needing the bigger ships, the big explorers that could actually take us long range. You know, it'll be a great opportunity for CIG to drop the Drake Corsair. Once again, these are my thoughts on what we might be getting in 380. This is a first part of um, maybe a two or three part. We'll see. All right. Um, but if you're new to the channel, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you on the next one.